Okay, okay, welcome YouTubers. This is my first video, really. This is my first YouTube vid uh, on guns, anyway. Um, just wanted to show you and give you a little review on my Taurus G3. Uh, we got an empty chamber, no mag, clear. Alright. So, as you can see, I got the Lake Line threaded barrel. I got a cool little thread protector on the end with the little flames. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, also, Lake Line front sight fiber optic. Put that on. Uh, I got the O light, flashlight, and laser. Got a green dot plus the flashlight. It's a pretty good light. I like that thing. It's pretty bright. Um, I have the Delta by AVE Advanced Optics. Um, this is going to be a 6MOA red dot. I had a green dot on here, but it was 3.25 MOA, I believe. And I have astigmatism, so it didn't really work well with me. So I ended up having to get the uh, bigger MOA. Um, I had the gray, the gray and black Taurus G3 like this one, full size. But one day I was just strolling through academy and i seen this color so i was like uh i gotta get that one just to match my judge so i gotta match in a little bit <laughs> i like the color scheme on those um but overall this is a pretty good gun I seen on uh, a few reviews on here people talking about the Lake Line threaded barrel in these, saying that it doesn't fit or it hangs up. But if you look at the description on Lake Line's uh, website, it shows you um, what to look for on your gun before you even purchase the threaded barrel. It will give you pointers to look at, find on your gun to see if you have those particular uh, problems on your original barrel. Um, it clearly states if you have those problems, don't don't buy the threaded barrel, or if you buy it, um, just be ready to do some filing to get it to fit perfectly. Um, what it does, it hangs up in the front, the slide, so you have to do a little filing on the slide to get it to fit without hanging up i have like i said i've seen it online i've seen it on youtube um a few re reviews talking about it but mine came in and dropped it in no problem i shot over maybe 200 rounds in it through it since i've had it uh not one problem not one hiccup and i mean i shoot all kind i shoot full metal jackets of course at the at the range but this is just some of the stuff that i carry daily uh, and I also you know I shoot those just to get a feel of them to see how they cycle through the gun I have, haven't had any problems with them um, the only one that I had a problem with was this one and this is by Lehigh I think this is the extreme defender sometimes it will hang up a little uh, when it's going to chamber but other than that, I really haven't had any problems with it. Um, the ADE sight is pretty good. I like it. Like I said, I had astigmatism. The first one I had was a little smaller, and it was a green dot. This one is bigger, and it is a red dot. I don't know if you can see it on here, but it's on. Um, I leave it on. It says the battery can last uh, up to like a year just keeping it on. So uh, I keep that on. The Olight is magnetically charged. It's pretty cool. I like this light. Like I say, you got your you got your green dot and you got your laser and your flashlight. So it's a neat little weapon. I get a lot of thumbs up at the range. <laughs> a lot of people try to buy it from me. Uh, Cause they never seen it in this color like like i said when i first seen it i had to jump on it just to match my my uh my judge here i call her judy she makes a mess and yeah 
but she's loaded. I didn't clear her. I'm not playing with her like that. This is not about her today. <laughs> this is all about the G3. But, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the comment section below. And I will try to answer them as quick as I can. This is Red Dot Gunworks. Over and out.